I talk about strategy. I talk about how to make career moves. I talk about coding. I talk about engineering. I talk about entrepreneurship. But nothing really matters if you are missing the main component, and the main component is your mindset. Is your is how you see yourself. Is how you operate in life, and is how you view yourself from the inside out. In this episode, I would like to share with you the main secret how I am able to make career moves and really attract the life that I want. It's going to be a little woo woo, but please stick around and go on the journey with me. So today, I'm going to talk about the law of attraction. Let's just let, let me just put it in the open and.、Uh, I talk about strategy. I talk about how to make career moves. I talk about coding. I talk about engineering. I talk about entrepreneurship. But nothing really matters if you are missing the main component, and the main component is your mindset. Is your is how you see yourself. Is how you operate in life, and is how you view yourself from the inside out. I am like I'm that serious. I'm very much database,、um, data driven person. I'm science driven person, and yet all of my life moves I was able to make because of my mindset, because of my focus. Yes, I operate based on data, based on data that I have on hand, but also. I operate based on my mentality, based on my mindset. Because of this mindset, because I will, because I'm able to see my future, visualize my future, hold that image, mentally rehearsing what I want to attract into my life, I was able to move from、uh, Moscow, Russia, to Chicago, Illinois. With no work visa, well, I had a tourist visa, no work visa, no work authorization, and literally, I moved in August, and in next year, 2014, I already, I already had a job. Legally, I had work authorization. I had all the paperwork that I needed to stay here. I didn't do anything illegal. I didn't lie, like nothing. And this video is not about how to move from one country to another. Like I'm not gonna go into details about that. But what is important before it happened? Before it happened, back then I organized my reality like it already happened. All of my technology was in English. My phone was in English. I was reading the media from the United States, UK, Australia, Canada. So I knew that I wanted to move either to、uh, the U.S., Canada, or Australia or New Zealand. Those four countries I was seriously considering. And I w- I was taking one step at a time. But also, not just taking one step at a time, I always hold my vision: what I want in my life, what I want to attract to my life, and what I wanted to attract to my life at that time is to get the hell out of out of Moscow and move to Chicago or the U.S. I actually thought I would move to New York, but. You know, like manifestation is a weird thing. So I moved to Chicago, and I love Chicago. So and then later on, I realized that,、um, and not just move, not just have a job, but get back into my industry that I used to work in. I work in behavioral health. I was doing therapy. Uh, and I was I was a clinical psychology I was a clinical psychologist, so I was able to get back into behavioral health. Because a lot of people would say,、uh, "Well, like the best thing that you can do is to wash dishes there." Not true. Not my reality. I refused that reality, and 
instead of focusing on refusing that reality, I was focusing on the reality that I really wanted. I would apply for jobs that I thought I was qualified for, that I knew that that I absolutely 100% I could do. And um, in January 2000, uh, 2014, um, January, February 2014, I landed my first job here in the U.S. And then a few months after, I landed another job, better job for better pay. Mm -hmm. But it is because of the power of manifestation, uh, because I was remembering my future, because I was seeing my future. And, and no matter what my reality was at a time, no matter what my reality was at a time. Yes, you might get upset, you might get discouraged, you might get depressed, whatever. Like emotions do happen. But instead of getting stuck on what is not working in my life at the time, I was focusing on what I want to work, what I want to happen. And that, my friend, this is my this is my engine that keeps me going in life. Then later on I realized that I'm not making enough money to support my family. And guess what? I was, I kept hearing about tech because also like my focus was, I want to make more money. I want to support my family. I want to provide for my family. So guess what? When you focus on that, you receive the downloads and the downloads, like if I um, were to describe, it's like thoughts, insight, insight, insightful thoughts that like, Oh, or ideas like, oh, like, oh, I could do this. Oh, I could do this. And also attract the right people into my life. So I kept hearing about tech. I kept hearing about quality assurance. So I like what I did. I, um, I decided to go for it. And again, that was a very challenging period of my life. I moved to Florida with no job, no car, like a little of savings, because you know, I do crazy things sometimes, okay? I do crazy things sometimes. So, moved to Florida with nothing, with my partner. None of us had a job, nothing secure in Florida. So, for the first three months, I couldn't land a job. So in Chicago, like no problem. I was able to land a job in my field. Florida, a little different story. The pay, uh, not that great. So I start focusing on tech. And what do you know? Three months later, like when I enroll into my class, literally like after like what, a month and a half, I landed my first job in tech. I landed my first job in tech. Again, it's not that my reality was so uh, prosperous and, and I felt happy all the time. No, life was hard. Life was laughing, okay? My life was laughing at a time. But in, in my mind, I kept visualizing what I really want where I want to be. I created my vision board with a lot of mobile devices. And what is freaky about it that I manifested like that, that picture of a lot, like, unfortunately I don't have that picture saved. I wish I did, but that picture that I manifested that I kept uh, in my notes, two years later, my desk was exactly like that. I had a lot of mobile devices. I had a lot of like, I, well, iPhones. I was working with iOS applications and I had a bunch of iPhones connected to my computer, like to my laptop, running a lot of like, pro, like things like so cool. So I manifested it. And then like in my career, I just, I thought, you know what? I don't want to do QA anymore. I want to do iOS development. 
I took steps. You know, it's not like I'm just dreaming and I'm just visualizing and just meditating and just like I'm deserving of good opportunities. Good opportunities are coming to me now. Like no, like I mean, meditation and prayer and spiritual practices they do they do take place. Yes, ab absolutely. Period. But also, I was taking steps towards my reality. And when I was taking steps towards my reality, um, I kept visualizing and manifesting what I want. It was not easy. It was, it's not like everything is just automatically falling into my lap. So I had a bunch of failed interviews as, as an iOS developer. I got a bunch of no's before I got my yes. But I did get my yes on my terms and my terms were, were, I will not sacrifice my level. So I was a senior software developer in test and my goal was transition to mid-level, at least mid-level iOS developer. I, I, I did not want to transition into junior developer. That was no go for me. Either um, the level, the income, for that position should match my current income or be a little bit more or uh, the income should be a, the same or a little bit more and the level should be mid-level engineer, period. No sacrifices, like no, mm -mm, no compromises. I could not compromise that either pay me the same or pay me the same and have my title. And it was crucial for me. And I did it. And I did it. And then after that, like, I didn't like that position. It was not, it was not in alignment in, with my career goals. Guess what? I wanted another job. And then I started my business. Later, later, later on, I started my business. And again, it is through the power of manifestation. It's through, it's through the power of seeing my future and remembering my future. Because a lot of people, what a lot of people do, a lot of people focus what they don't have. A lot of people focus on lack. A lot of people focus on uh, uh, d despair. What they, what at, in the current moment, what is not working. And they get depressed and they get discouraged and they stop moving. So what happens when you stop moving, what happens when you stop focusing on your future and you're just focusing on your present, what is not working on your lack, you, you, you stop moving towards your goal. You start running in circles. You start attracting the same reality, but because you're doing the same shit over and over and over and over and over and over again. And then you're wondering why life is not happening for me. Why everybody else has career, business, income, but I don't. What's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. You need to Fix what you focus focusing on because where attention goes, energy flows. Where attention goes, energy flows. So if your attention is on lack, is what you don't have on your, on your current circumstances right now, so your energy will flow to the same circumstances and will attract the same circumstances over and over again. But if your attention to the future, if your attention to what on good things, on your goals, and, and you're not just imagining it, like you're embodying it. Because like one of uh, the most important practice for me was not just imagining my life because I can dream and imagine all day long, right? But it was, it's hard to describe, but I was walking like I already had like an iOS developer job. Back in Moscow, I was walking like I was walking in New York or Chicago. And, you know, like granted, if you've never been to Moscow, Moscow is very modern city and like, in some places, you can't even 
like if you look just at the city, it's it's a very modern city. It's like similar to New York or Chicago or um, Seattle. So like the downtown, like um, it, it's kind of similar. So, but I was embodying my future, not just imagining it, but like feeling how I would feel. If it would already happen, and this is this is this is really crucial. This is really important. So, I hope it helps. Focus on your future. Remember your future, and keep moving forward. The power, of, like I'm telling you, you you can have all the strategies in the world, but if you don't have this, if you don't implement this in your life, like nothing, nothing will happen. I'm dead serious. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what resonated with you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.